How to use the skulk sensor in Minecraft. This video is going to explain the skulk sensor, how to get it, and how to use the skulk sensor. What is the skulk sensor? The skulk sensor is a new redstone component that can detect vibrations. It is a new block that is added in the Minecraft 1.19 update, the wild update. The skulk sensor can be mined with any tool, but the quickest is the hoe. You have to mine it with a silk touch enchanted tool, which drops the block rather than break it. Breaking the skulk sensor will drop experience. The skulk sensor emits a light level of 1. When the skulk sensor detects a vibration, it will make a sound. You can see a signal go from the vibration to the sensor. How to get the skulk sensor The skulk sensor can be found in the deep dark biome and the ancient city, which is found in the deep dark. The deep dark is found close to bedrock, around negative 52 Y layer, meaning the vertical position in the world. The deep dark is a unique looking biome as it will have the new blocks like the skulk block, the skulk sensor, the skulk catalyst and the skulk shrieker. The skulk sensor can be found on the ground in the ancient city. You should be careful in the ancient city because if you create a vibration near the skulk sensor, which is caused by almost every player action, or step on the skulk shrieker, this can trigger the skulk shrieker and increase the warning level for the warden by one. When the warning level hits four, this will spawn the warden. The warden is the most dangerous mob in the game now, as it has a health of 500 and can attack you with melee attacks and range attacks and the range attacks will pass through blocks. The best way to not create a vibration is by sneaking. The skulk sensor also has a 23.2% chance of having 1 to 3 in a chest in the ancient city chest. Opening the chest will give off a vibration which triggers the skulk sensor. The skulk catalyst also has a 9% chance of generating a skulk sensor. How the catalyst works is when a mob that drops experience dies within range of the catalyst, it can create a skulk block or skulk veins. If a mob dies on the block that is a skulk block, it can generate a skulk sensor. How to use the skulk sensor What the skulk sensor does is it is able to detect vibrations and output a redstone signal based on that. A vibration can be almost any player action in the game. The skulk sensor has a range of 9 block radius around it for detecting vibrations. The only way not to be detected by the skulk sensor is to sneak. When there is a vibration within range of the skulk sensor, it will travel to the sensor at 1 block per a tick or 20 blocks per a second. So the sensor will detect a vibration in less than a second. When the sensor gets a signal, it is active for 2 seconds. It can't detect another vibration or while getting a signal. There is a 1 tick cooldown after being placed or the sensor deactivates during the cooldown. It cannot detect a vibration. What this means is that the sensor won't get stuck as activated. It will activate and deactivate even if there is a constant vibration. How strong the redstone signal the sensor emits will depend on the distance the vibration traveled. As an example, walking will give you a vibration of 1. If the player is at the edge of the range of the sensor, it will emit a redstone signal of 1. However, if you are walking on top of the sensor, it will emit a redstone signal of 15. Another example is opening a chest is 15. If you do this 7 blocks away from the sensor, it will emit a redstone signal of 8. But if you are close, it will be a signal of 15. However, if you have a redstone comparator facing out from the sensor, this will output a signal of the vibration. It will output the same signal no matter how close you are to the sensor. With the comparator, walking will give a redstone signal of 1. Even if you are walking on the sensor, or opening a chest will give you a signal of 15, even if at the edge of the range of the sensor. The difference between the comparator and not having a comparator is that without a comparator, it depends on the vibration. And the distance from the sensor, as where the comparator will output the amount the vibration was. The skulk sensor can also be waterlogged, so you can place water on top of it. The sensor will still detect vibrations and output a redstone signal, however it won't make any sound. One thing to keep in mind when waterlogging the skulk sensor is that it will not power the block next to it, so you will have to use a comparator next to the block beside the sensor. If you plan on using the skulk sensor for a trap, it is easy to hide it by waterlogging it and putting a carpet on top. The skull sensor will not detect any vibrations from other skulk sources like skull shriekers or the warden. In the ancient city, when the skulk sensor is activated, it will send a signal to the shrieker to activate it. Wolf blocks can also be used to block the vibration 
vibrations from the Skulk sensor. Also, walking on wool blocks will not create a vibration. Skulk sensors are also immovable by pistons and honey or slime blocks do not stick to the sensors, so it can't be pushed or pulled by a piston. Let's go through all of the vibrations and how much they give off. Sneaking will not create a vibration besides this, it ranges from 0 to 15. One is walking on the ground or a minecart rolling, two is a bat flapping, three is swimming, four is flying with a Elytra, five is hitting the ground hard enough to take fall damage, also an enderman teleporting. Six is a block change like a book placed on a lectern, also at six is a minecart moving, splashing in water, or a boat paddling, a wolf shakes off from being wet, a note block emitting a sound. 7 is drinking a potion, TNT or a creeper being primed before exploding, a projectile like an arrow being fired. 8 is interacting with an entity like feeding an animal, a projectile hits something, eating either the player or the animal, an entity taking damage. 9 is equipping with armor, shearing like a honeycomb or a sheep, and the roar from the ravager. 10 is a door closing, a block deactivating like a lever or button, a tripwire is detected meaning the string is cut, and a dispenser fails to dispense an item. 11 is a door opening, a block is activated like a lever or button, a tripwire is set like pulling a string on a tripwire, 12 is placing a block, an entity is spawned with a spawn egg, fluid being placed like in a cauldron, increasing the fluid, 13 is a block being destroyed, an armor stand is killed, fluid is picked up like picking up something with a bucket, 14 is a player reels in a fishing rod, closing a container like a chest, and a piston pulls in, 15 which is the loudest, is opening a container like a chest, a piston pushes, a goat horn is played, an explosion like TNT exploding, and a lightning strike.